Can I ask how your law of attraction has changed? <laughs> I haven't had time really to breathe and know how it's <laughs> I feel that I've faced a lot of emotions and I'm growing, yep. definitely continually growing. Yep. And I really feel joyful about that. Yep. And I feel a lot more joy in my life. Yep. Um, I'm still, of course, attracting certain things. Say my son and I will have a clash. Okay. So that hasn't, certain things haven't changed. Okay. Others have. Okay. Which is what is fairly normal for most emotional work that most people do. Mm -hmm. And my, my like, the, the opinion that I have is that you, God created you in such a way that everything that's inside of you can be worked through with God. Mm -hmm. As long as you have a desire to work through everything inside of yourself. The problem is with all different forms of emotional work is none of them address one issue, and that is... Do you really have a desire to work through certain issues inside of yourself? Now, get, let's look at the clash you have with your son. Mm -hmm. Obviously, even with all the emotional work that you've done, which is quite a lot by the sound of things, none of them have addressed this emotional issue that you have with your son. It hasn't addressed it, though we're both aware now that we do that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so there's an awareness. Yeah. And we'll work on our own. We're both aware to take it back to ourselves, not to blame each other for the clash. How old is your son? 22. <coughs> oh, okay. And when you say you're both aware... We discuss it. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we know that he owns his stuff and I own mine and we're <coughs> on our own. But his stuff is mostly yours. Mm -hmm. Only me. <laughs> 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 this is a... See, I suppose what I'm, I'll just address that a yeah. little later. Yeah. What I'm saying is that what we can do with a lot of our emotional work is that we, we only focus on the issues that are the least painful for us generally, even though we do go through quite a lot of pain. What I'm saying to you on the divine path is you are going to be, if you want to be at one with God, you are going to go through every single issue that you ever got, every single one. Now, you can, if you want, use any technique possible, <coughs> anything that's out there to help you connect with your emotions. So you can do the Brandon Bay's journey. You can be, you do the oneness blessing. If it connects you with emotion, do it. If you, if you like massage and that connects you with emotion, do that. If you do, you know, do all of these different things. They're all fine. <coughs> but have the focus that in the end, I am going to work on everything within me and I'm going to notice my law of attraction as it currently is. Mm -hmm. right. Now, the truth is that as you work through these different emotions using all these different techniques, many of which are very, very helpful. Mm -hmm. So no, I'm not going to decry anything that helps you work through an emotion. I am certainly going to have statements about things that cause you to get back into your mind. Yeah. Right? But anything that helps you stay connected with your emotion is going to be a good thing for you. And while it works for you, do it. So it doesn't matter which one, is, if that one's a bit simpler. But what, there is something going on inside of yourself, though, at, at the same time. If, and if you can feel this emotion, mm -hmm. you have this feeling inside of yourself that the Brandon Bay's journey at times has become so painful that you would have liked to have avoided some of it. <laughs> yeah. Right? <laughs> okay. Yeah. And that's what causes you to actually then favour mm -hmm. the yeah. oneness blessing, yeah. the Diksha. Yeah. Right? Now, that in itself is a dangerous proposition that you've set up within yourself emotionally. Mm -hmm. Because if you favour anything over the other, what are you actually doing? Running You're avoiding away. an emotion. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, you have made me question that yesterday, mm -hmm. and I was starting to think, well, I'm a university <laughs> yeah, yeah. before that. Yeah. yeah. Now, I'm not saying that either has any thing over the other. What I'm saying is, as soon as you make a choice to be selective, you are actually making a choice to avoid something and, and have a preference of one thing over another. When you're at one with God, you won't do that. Mm -hmm. So if, if to be at one with God, you're not going to do that, then why develop that now within yourself? Why not just accept, this has come into my lap, my law of attraction has brought Brandon Bay's journey. Let's go and do it. My law of attraction has now brought Deepshire Oneness Blessing. Let's go and do that. My law of attraction has now brought... You know, this AJ guy is speaking to me. Let's go and do that. Right? 
your law of attraction is helping you work your way through which, what is our mind field, if you like, of emotions. And, and it, you need to trust that and go with that. But don't judge one over the other. Don't go down, down and select one and say, that was easier on me, so I like that. I'm going to stick with that. Yeah. And you know, in your way, that's what every person in every religion does, isn't it? Oh, that religion's easier on me than the other one, so I'm going to stick with that. Mm -hmm. Or that, well, isn't it the same with every uh, philosophy of life generally? Oh, that's easier on me, so I'm going to stick with that. I'm not saying this is going to be easy on you. It's not going to be easy on you. It's going to be real. And, and that I, isn't the same thing. I think I just got it. His stuff's mainly mine because he's my son. Of and course. We were talking about yesterday. Of course. <laughs> yeah. So you even saying to him, you deal with your stuff, I'll deal with mine, is actually very unfair to him. Can you see that? In reality, what we need to say as parents is, I need to deal with all my stuff. And when I do that, everything between us will change. Mm. At any age. At any age. At any age. Yeah. And some of you have already experienced that. Mm -hmm. When you've, like Helga, you've experienced that with your son a bit, haven't you? Mm -hmm. As soon as you made yeah. some instant changes. How old is your son? 20, 30? 42. 42. Straight away, different relationships. I do believe that and why I'm working on myself. Like, yeah. That's made me understand it even clearer. Yeah. I guess what you said about the, your children taking on your. Yeah, yeah. So remember that with particularly our relationship with our children, our children are the best possible trigger. Like, I can't trigger you as much as your children can trigger you. Right? Your, trigger is, your triggers are your children. Any, any problems in those relationships you have with your children, you need to look at yourself, not at the child. It's not the child, it's you that created this. Remember? I'm responsible for everything. <laughs> Most parents don't like hearing that, right? I'm responsible for everything inside of myself. Everything that I'm creating around me is my responsibility. I need to look at that. That's what I need to address. Any problem in any relationship around me, I've got to address something within me because it's my law of attraction. Without blame, yeah. And even without blame of of myself. <laughs> right? I just need to say, hey, so this is just an emotion inside of me that got inside of me. Who knows how? And does it really matter? Doesn't it just matter to get it back out again? In there? That's really all that matters. So do that.